1995, Sherry and Don Bishop decided to uh, have a, a creation of an arts council. And so they, they were the two people that actually began the Ozark Arts Council. And in 1996, the organization began, and it was an umbrella organization for the arts in the area. And about that time, we got to thinking, goodness, there's the Lyric Theater, and the Harrison Daily Times is going to buy that and going to raise it for a parking lot. I wonder if there's some way this can be saved. So we looked around the state, saw four or five or six other operations about how their theaters had been restored, and we decided the only way it was going to happen would be if a nonprofit purchased it, raised money, renovated it, and ran it. So if you're going to raise money, you got to go get Ken Bailey on board, because his wife Shelley knows everyone in the state of Arkansas, and is related to about half of them, I think, in any event. Uh, we got together and got the Banks family to donate $75,000, the Bill Stirrett's family to donate $10,000, and they were Harrison High School graduates. We got the uh, City Advertising and Tourist Promotion Commission to give us $15,000, and the then Community First Bank gave us a $50,000 line of credit, and we bought this place April the 1st, 1999. After that point in time, we involved so many people in the community that, that gave their time, talent, and treasure. And, and I'm, just, I'm just so proud of our community. This was a really treacherous place initially. At the back of the theater, there was a hole about that big in the floor. So we had a play here, I believe it was The Foreigner, in, in May of 1999. So people had to navigate around the hole there were no restrooms. We'd have to run next door to the Times office for the restrooms. Uh, we had no curtain. We had a, uh, a, a camouflage, parachute camouflage colored curtain that Pat McBride put together. It has been a real pleasure for me to watch particularly young people that will get on this stage and they'll audition for a part, and they will be folded up and just withdrawn. Auditioning is a horribly just difficult process. But by the time they're through with the play, they've opened up, they're just full of life, and it's so much, so much wonderful things happen to them. That's my favorite thing about the whole process. I think at one time or another over the course of my 27 plus years of practicing law, I think I represented virtually every city in Boone County. And, and they were wonderful experiences. They, they, were, they were all genuinely interested in serving their local communities. And, and I was really, really just lucky to, to have had that experience. Uh, the Master Gardeners is really kind of important to me. I, uh, I guess my favorite thing about the Master Gardeners is the maintenance of these flower gardens around the court park on the square. I, I really think that's important. And, you know, when I'm out there working, I sort of have an affinity with my fellow bar members, my colleagues in the bar, you know. And particularly working over the court park there, and I'm, shed, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm spreading fertilizer. I just feel so much in tune with them whenever that happens. I suppose it would be the foreigner or Harvey. The foreigner, the main character was Charlie, and he was somewhat of a reticent hasn't had his life fulfilled, veteran of the United Kingdom services, and he came to, to Georgia trying to find himself. And Charlie just transformed himself uh, in a wonderful way. And I kind of I was Charlie. 
he got to tell stories in a make-up language, and I did the same thing, you know. Merduska omni bolshania, mirlo eramanzi, broch pivno. We just made up stuff.